A Midwestern town in America, Raccoon City. A solitary island far off in the sea, Rockfort Island. An island that would become the second Raccoon City, Sheena Island. There are still many unanswered questions about these seemingly unrelated yet intensely traumatic events. Though it is believed that the International Enterprise Umbrella was somehow involved, little is known as to the origin of this faceless corporation. When was it established? By whom? And how was the T-Virus created? To uncover the truth, we must delve deeper into the events which transpired in the beginning, before the mansion incident. Hmm. Do you think so too? Yeah. Do about it. Hold off for a while. But I wonder how those are in as a simple investigation of some bizarre murders in the suburbs of Raccoon City. Nothing in our training could ever have prepared us for the nightmare that ensued. We never stood a chance. What's going on? Engine failure! Emergency landing! the current position and investigate the surrounding area. Captain, look! <gasps> Captain! Hmm? What happened? Order for transportation. Prisoner Billy Cohen, ex lieutenant, 26 years old. Court martialed and sentenced to death July 22nd. Prisoner is to be transferred to the Regathon base for execution. Those poor soldiers. They were good men just doing their jobs, and that scum murdered them and escaped. All right, everyone, let's separate and survey the area. Our friend is brutal and ruthless. Keep your guard up. This is Officer Chambers from Stars Bravo Team. Please identify yourself. Is someone there? The government has announced that 
Billy. Lieutenant Cohen. So, you seem to know me. Been fantasizing about me, have you? You're the prisoner that was being transferred for execution. You were with those soldiers outside. Oh, I see. You're with stars. Well, no offense, honey, but your kind doesn't seem to want me around. So, I'm afraid our little chat time is over. Wait! You're under arrest! No thanks, Dollface. I've already worn handcuffs. I could shoot, you know. Edward! Are you alright? What happened? It's worse than... We can't. You must be careful, Rebecca. is full of z zombies and monsters. Zombies and monsters? Uh, uh. <laughs> this is Rebecca. Over. Enrico! What's your location? Over. Enrico! Hello! Can you read me? Please respond. Rebecca, I can hear you. Now listen up. We've obtained detailed information on the fugitive from a document found in the wrecked wagon. Billy Cohen killed as many as 23 people. Over. 23 people? We have also confirmed that he was institutionalized, so keep your guard up. Can you hear me, Rebecca? Over. Stay alert, Rebecca. He wouldn't think twice before killing you. Enrico! Captain! Hello? Hello! It's gonna be dangerous from here on in. Why don't we cooperate? Cooperate with you? Listen, little girl, if you haven't noticed, there's some pretty freaked out things on this train. And I, for one, want to get out of here. I don't think we stand a chance doing it alone. You expect me to trust you, a wanted felon? I don't need your help. I can handle this on my own. And don't call me little girl. All right, Miss Do-It-Yourself. What should I call you? The name is Rebecca Chambers, but that's Officer Chambers to you. Well then, Rebecca, why don't you go and try while I wait here? Um, excuse me, sir. Sir. Okay. Who is that guy? 
What's going on? Who's controlling the train? Go and check out the first engine car. Listen, we gotta cooperate with each other from now on. You got that? Well, I don't... Clue in, girl. Or maybe you like being worm bait. All right. But you just remember, I will shoot you if you try anything funny. Fine. Now take these with you. If you find anything, give me a call, all right? Delta team, this is Delta team. We have gained control of the train. Over. Understood. This does not make any sense. How was the T-virus leaked? And why did it contaminate both the lab and the mansion, as well as a train almost three miles away? That's irrelevant. We must make sure no knowledge of this gets out. Destroy the train. Completely. How far away are you from the nearest branch line? About ten minutes to... Huh? What happened? The train will either derail or crash. I gotta stop this thing. I'll go over to the back deck and manipulate the control panel for the brake. Then you apply the brake from here, okay? All right. Billy. What? Be careful. Yeah. This is Billy. I've engaged the control device for the brake. Over. Roger. I'll put the brake on now. Research Center? <gasps> the first general manager, Dr. James Marcus. Who on earth are those people? She's just a rookie, a member of STARS. Hmm, what about the mail? I'm unfamiliar with Attention! Mm -hmm. This is Dr. Marcus. Please be silent as we reflect upon our company motto. Obedience breeds discipline. 
Discipline breeds unity. Unity breeds power. Power is life. <laughs> who are you? It was I who scattered the T-virus in the mansion. Needless to say, I contaminated the train, too. What? Revenge on Umbrella. <laughs> Ten years ago, Dr. Marcus was murdered by Umbrella. You helped them, didn't you? <laughs> Rebecca! Are you all right? Yes, thank you. I'm almost there. I'm glad I could be of service. Time to go inside. Wasting your time. I have already claimed this place for myself, which means you are trespassing, and I am very territorial. <laughs> It just doesn't make sense. Do you honestly believe this to be the real identity of that crazy young man? Impossible. But if somehow it is true, then Umbrella will be finished. If the old conspiracy against Dr. Marcus is revealed, Mr. Spencer's career will be over. Not to mention ours, too. So, the time has come at last. What are you going to do? I will simply say goodbye to Umbrella. The biological weapon utilizing the T-Virus has almost been completed. Our only remaining task is to acquire combat data. You can't be serious. I refuse to abandon my work. I have finished the research on the T-Virus, but I need a little more time to complete the more powerful G-Virus. Do as you wish. I will follow my initial plan and lure the STARS members into the mansion. Their superior combat training should make them perfect test subjects. <laughs> Fine. In the meantime, something must be done about that madman. As I recall, URC is equipped with a self-destruct device in the basement. I'll find it, set it off, and annihilate the place to nothing more than a massive rubble. Uh, oh. Rebecca! Hang on. I'll pull you up. Thank you. No mention it. Just keeping my word. We promised to cooperate with each other. Remember? This is Rebecca, over. Rebecca, this is Enrico. Have you managed to locate Cohen yet? Over. Rebecca, answer me. 
No, sir. I have not found him yet. I'll continue to search for him. Over. Rebecca. My first mission, and I've already disobeyed orders. So much for my great law enforcement career. Oh well, I probably won't live long enough to worry about it. Billy, I just need to know. I need to know the truth. Did you kill 23 people? I'm not going to judge you. I just want to know the truth. It was around this time last year. Our unit was ordered to Africa to intervene in a civil war. Our mission was to raid a hideout of some guerrilla forces located deep inside the jungle. But the hideout was far away from our entry point. Some died from the heat. Others were killed by the enemy. In the end, only four of us survived. Only, there was no guerrilla hideout. What do you mean? The idiots in charge had us operating based on wrong information. But we couldn't just go back home empty-handed, oh no. Our leader ordered us to attack an innocent village. Get rid of them! Kill them all! Please, sir! Cease fire immediately! Shut up! Ugh. Do it! Do it. So did you execute those innocent people? Forget about it. Doesn't matter anymore. That was then, this is now. Besides, you said you wouldn't judge me. I'm not judging you, but it does matter. Look, now my people think you killed those MPs in the van, but I don't think you did. It was those zombie dogs, right? When they attacked the van, you were able to escape. Isn't that right? You don't get it. I've only got two choices left. Either report to the Marines and serve out my sentence, or keep on running for as long as I can. That's all. be Marcus's son or grandson now this is more like it Billy here Billy I found an aerial cable car we can get out of this place go wait there I'm coming Roger the sooner we get out of here the better out <gasps>
shoot! You're alive. Are you okay, Rebecca? Where is everybody? They should have arrived here before me. Haven't you seen them? That's unfortunate. If we go straight from here, we should arrive at an old mansion which Umbrella uses for research. Come on, let's go. Wait! I've got to find Billy. Billy Cohen? You mean you found that criminal? Yes, but we got separated and... No point worrying about him. He won't make it. Come on, let's go. Sir, please. I need to find him. Don't worry. I'll catch up with you. Rebecca, I... All right. Just be careful. I never saw him again. <laughs> Playtime is over. You and your friends no longer amuse me. Good riddance. Now nothing will stop me from getting my revenge. safe now. Are you okay? Hmm? What could have done this? They must have been used as test subjects in Marcus's research. He must have kept messing around with the mother virus. Billy? Welcome, young one. So glad you have joined the party. You are the guests of honor. After all, it's your wake. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Dr. Marcus? No, you can't be. What's going on? <laughs> Ten years ago, Spencer had me assassinated. Oh, time to...
to die, Doctor. I will take over your research. <laughs> Wesker Birkin. However, something wondrous happened. It took the T-Virus inside of my queen years to procreate my new life. I live. Now I will have my revenge on Umbrella, and the world will burn in an inferno of hate! <laughs> You'll pay for what you've done! We'll see which one of us is gonna die! <laughs> <laughs> Work on the windows. Got it. I'll use my charm to distract Her Majesty. Hey, that must be the old mansion that Enrico was talking about. Mm. 
I guess it's time to say goodbye. Officially, Lieutenant Billy Cohen is dead. Yeah, I'm just a zombie now. Thank you, Rebecca.